All right, what is going on, guys? This is Chance, and we are back with another video. I forgot to film this intro, but basically, what I'm going, what I'm doing in this video is the 350 is having a problem misfiring, and basically, I'm just diagnosing that, going through a couple of things, changing the plugs, seeing if we can find out what's wrong. So stay tuned, and I hope you like the video. But what I'm going to do today, uh, I got plans later on, so I'm just going to try and make this quick. Hopefully it can be quick. The 350 has a misfire. What it does is whenever it's idling, it's idling at about double what it, what it normally idles at. And then whenever it goes to idle down, it starts misfiring like pretty bad. It's down on power. I'm thinking the, I think the car runs rich. I'm pretty sure the car runs rich. And I'm thinking that it's just the plugs because there's no telling when was the last time the plugs were, you know, replaced. But I'm going to replace the plugs. And hopefully, I really, really hope that that fixes the misfire because I, can, I cannot stand chasing electrical. So hopefully, hopefully this fixes it. So I'm taking off the throttle body and everything, trying to get to the plugs right there. And then come to find out, I have no idea how this was ever even running right. This shit had broken in some point in its life and I went to pull the connector off and it just slipped right off. Like it was, it, it just came right off. And apparently it had broken at some point in its life. I don't know how it was ever even staying right there. Like that, this could be bad and hopefully that is not expensive to fix i don't know if you'd be able to get this piece alone so i'm going to try and jerry-rig this to go back right okay so it is now the following day and it turns out that the plugs that i had bought were wrong i didn't know it but i bought the one step coder for de instead of hr i have an hr dual intake the ones on the DE are bigger than the ones on the HR, so I've, I've been on a wild chase looking for a store, for an auto parts store that sells the one that I'm, the ones that I was trying to buy. No one had them, and I don't know why, but I finally got them now. And if you remember yesterday, I said that this piece right here broke off into the connector, which is right here. Well, what I did last night is I JB welded it back on. It's ghetto, it's horrible, hopefully it works because I'm not trying to pay $200 for a new throttle body because that broke. So if it doesn't work, then I'll just buy a new one. But if it does work, then it's staying how it is. I've already gotten one of these spark plugs out. See it, the hole down there. So I'm about to throw it in and then hopefully change them all. And I'll touch back up with y'all whenever I do that. Okay, so I have gotten <clears throat> everything back together. This connector right here that is JB welded, it is clipped back together. All these hoses and whatnot, they're all back together. This piece over here, you can see the bright, bright ass orange right here. This piece is nearly completely broken off. I don't know if that could be what was giving it the misfire, because I don't know all that stuff, but it was nearly completely ripped off. So what I did is I just taped it back up, got all new plugs in it. I'm going to replace this soon, but this is just to get me by for right now. We are about to do the startup again. See if it is still misfiring, and I really hope that it is not. Just kidding. I gotta plug the battery back in. All right, so try number two.
idle. Right around 700-ish. It's idling right around there. Like it normally would. It's still like messing up. I, I don't know. I realized that this one, this hose has, you probably can't see it, but this hose has a little crack right there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, order some other hoses for both sides. Just get some silicone ones that replace both of these. Someone said that it might be a cam sensor or something like that, but uh, I don't know. I don't really know stuff like this. I don't know if it's oil packs going out or what, but I'm going to do some more research and see what the internet says about it because it's not... idled up right there like it, it wants to stall out almost but then it idles back up okay i lied it is now showing that code right there so i'm gonna go inside research that and see what that comes up as okay so apparently that code is a lean code basically is what it's doing I've been talking to someone, the guy who actually owned the car before me, and he says that that crack in the intake hose, he says that that is most likely what what is doing it, what is making it have a rough idling kind of misfire. He said try and just put some tape on it for right now just to see if it does anything, see if it stops it, and then go from there. So after trying that, putting the tape over that uh over that hose that actually i mean it's still idling good it's idling a whole lot better than what it was and then i've already done the codes pending codes oh never mind showing something else now okay so yeah that definitely that definitely is a different code the other one was p0171 this one is 174 so something else is throwing a code now so time to find out what that one is okay basically so what i so what i'm getting from that code is that it's basically showing the same thing for bank but for bank two instead of one so what i am thinking that i'm gonna do is i think i'm going to replace both of those hoses and see if that fixes it but basically it's saying that it's lean in bank two. But yeah, that's what I'm gathering out of that. Try and change both of the hoses and fix those, fix those leaks. Cause they're behind the math. So it'll, that's unfiltered, that's unfiltered air. And I'm really hoping that that fixes it because I do have an event coming up essentially this week. Regardless, we're gonna be driving and Hopefully the car is running right, because if not, I really hope that it does not blow up. <laughs> but regardless, I think I'm going to to go ahead and cut this video right here. Uh, because I don't have those two hoses right now. And I don't know how long it's going to be till they come in. I am really hoping that, that, is, that that'll be the fix. Or I might go ahead and go and pick up a new fuel filter because I was reading online and it says a clogged fuel filter could also be causing that. So I'm going to try that out. I'm going to see. I need to update the car to begin with. You know, it, it just needs updates. It's, it's old. After doing some research, after doing some research, I found out there essentially is no filter that you can just change inside of the 350. It has a built-in filter in the actual pump. So if you want to replace the filter, you got to replace the pump. But I was talking to the guy that had the car before me and it has a it has a brand new pump in it, so it has a new filter in it, so it's good. Also, I checked the MAF sensors, you know, I pulled those out, I looked at them. They don't look bad. So I don't think it's that. I looked at the filters. I mean, the filters could be cleaned. They're, they're not the cleanest. They can be cleaned, but I don't think that's it either. I'm thinking that it's the hoses. So I'm going to get some ordered and see if that fixes it. But in the meantime, I went ahead and put everything on the car back together. 
I found out from my wreck that actually I bent <laughs> this this strut bar. I found out I bent it. If you look right here, you can clearly see that it is higher right there than it is over here. So that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And then you can see it's not equal with that anymore. But it's still going. We still gonna drive it. Broke off, I broke off one of these bolts right there. As soon as I started putting any torque to it, it broke it off. So be it. It is what it is. I can replace it. But anyways, if y'all want to keep up with me, keep up with the build, you know, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. The name for both of those is Famous Dean. The link is going to be right there. Right where my face was, right under it. But yeah, go follow me on those. Keep up with everything. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.